showmethecurry.com. I'm Anuja. And I'm Hithal. And today we're going to be making moong dal khichri. It's one of the all-time favorite comfort foods. You're going to love it. And here's what you'll need. Half cup rice. Half cup moong dal. Two cups water. Salt to taste. One eighth teaspoon haldi or turmeric powder. One pinch of asafoetida or hing. Half cup veggies, optional. Okay, we have already combined our rice and dal and washed it really well. You want to wash it until all the water runs clear. And we're going to add it to our pressure cooker. And to that we're going to add water. Here's our salt to taste, turmeric powder, and asafoetida. We're going to give that a nice stir, let the salt all mix well. We're going to cover it and cook it. That's it? That's it. This is again an easy recipe. And one more thing, if you like to add a little veggies in here, you can. We have uh, just a little bit of carrots and peas that we're going to put in there. This adds a nice color. Uh, to the whole thing, and um, it, uh, it makes nice it way to, <laughs> and it's a nice way to sneak the veggies in for your kids. Right. And all pressure cookers are different, but uh, for the most part, if you let it cook for one whistle, meaning that when the whistle sounds, immediately turn off the gas, and uh, it should work. You have to wait till the pressure goes down before you open. Okay, so I'm going to put it on um, medium heat. And it's going to go on for one whistle. Right. right. Now, kitchi is wonderful. It's a comfort food, especially when you're sick, kind of under the weather. It's uh, very easy to digest, first of all, and it's just nice and comforting. That's right. And also, the other very good re uh, reason for us showing it to you is it's a great food to give babies. So you can, you know, instead of the one whistle, you can uh, go on for about maybe another uh, one more whistle and add in a little extra water so it becomes a little uh, softer and add in some more veggies, mash it all up and it's perfect baby food instead of uh, getting those gerber bottles or right. anything like that. So this is what actually both of us fed our kids. Yes, uh, and you get your protein. Yes. Even for you know vegetarians, you get your protein from the doll and you get your veggies, you get your carbohydrates, all in one meal and it's great for the kids. Perfect. Okay, our cooker has whistled once and now uh, it's been sitting here for a few minutes where we're waiting for the pressure to go down and I believe the pressure should be gone by now. I'm going to just check it yeah, just to make idea. sure. Very good idea to test it before you do this. So the pressure is going to be gone, yes. Mm -hmm. oh. there go. Mm -hmm. Looks good, smells good. It's delicious. Thank you. Now, um, the rice that we used was a long grain rice, uh, basmati, but uh, any type of rice you have at home will work in a kitchen. Uh, the only difference is sometimes the texture might be a little bit uh, uh, more softer or a little bit more separate, depending on which rice you use. But uh, for all practical purposes, a long grain rice works the best. It looks, it looks very great. Good. The pieces of carrots just look fantastic. And actually, you can put in a lot of other vegetables also to your choice. Uh, cauliflower looks good, and then pieces of potatoes, excellent. So this um, this kitchen actually, you know, it's it's traditionally eaten with gari, which is a yes. Gujarati, um, almost like a soup, you know, like a hot soup, and um, it's it's just a wonderful, wonderful combination. And watch out for our video on gari coming up soon. So our moong dal kitchen is ready, and it looks fabulous. Wow. Yes. yes. So join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.